guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. We are going to do a flip cup today. So let me tell you my colors real quick. This is, let me get that out of the way. This is Blickrylic Black Mars Black. This one is Deco Art Americana Decor Copper. This one is Liquitex Basics Cadmium Red Deep. This one is Deco Art Americana Decor 24 Karat Gold. This one was the Deco Art Americana Decor Denim Blue, but I put some black in there because it looked a little light to me. And then this one is the Deco Art Americana Decor Silver. So I have three metallics, the gold, silver, and the copper. I have red, black, and a navy-ish color. So we'll see how it goes. My pouring medium is a little different today. I am using, I started off with 70% glue all and 30% water. And then I put a squirt of Liquitex pouring medium in each cup. And uh, one of them, the silver needed a lot more. I ended up putting more glue all in there because it was pretty thin. So I'm gonna lay my cups out. I'm gonna do seven five ounce Dixie cups show you why so that's five six seven okay all right so I'm going to start with black I'm gonna layer them along the side I'm not gonna do a dirty cup because I want to do a flip and drag so a little bit of black in the bottom Um, I'm going to start with gold. Okay. There is no silicone in any of my paint. So, we'll still get cells though, don't worry. <laughs> now I'm going to, actually I'm going to use the red next. Such a pretty color, this cadmium red deep. Yesterday I was using the Napthol Crimson, which is kind of more orangey. But this one, the red here, I want to put a light color on either side of it so it stays light. So I'm going to use the silver now. Dropping it in that cup too. Okay. Let's see. Let's put a little bit more gold in there too. Ooh, there's a lot. All right. See how this full? This one's a lot fuller than these. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of the navy in these ones to get them evened out. That's pretty good. All right, so let's do this. So real quick, this gold circle that you see, that is the side everything has been poured on. So my intention is to have some of the cups facing with that gold circle going that way and the other half of them have the gold circle facing me. So doing that 
we're going to get a very different effect with our paint. So let's start. I'm going to put this one in the middle just because it's really cool. I'm going to put four up there and three down here. I'm going to do three up here first. So here's the gold center facing that way. Flip it. Gold center facing that way. Gold center facing that way. Okay. And then this one, I'm going to have the gold center facing me. And I'm going to do four. Move that over a bit. I'm going to do one here, then three. Okay, so one here, gold center facing me, gold center facing me. All right, I'm excited. Let's do this. I'm going to make sure you can see in the camera as well. <laughs> I think you can see. Yeah, okay, let me take a picture too, just in case. It's very hard to see in the sun. Okay, let's do this. Here we go. One, two. Okay, nice deep colors there. Second one. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna go over here between these two. Interesting. Oh, very cool. Okay, I'm going to turn the canvas. So we can flip those buttons. Okay, ready? The copper is coming through really pretty. Okay. about making sure it covers the edges. This one's already pretty good. Okay. Um, I might put a little bit of maybe any light left. I don't know if I want to use the silver. Maybe a little bit of copper coming through here. This is a little tricky because it's either on mostly on that end and mostly on this end and I want to try to get mostly in the middle. <laughs> so we're just going to kind of walk it around a little bit and see what's moving. So that bottom edge is covered now. I'm going to take it down this way. Over that way, off that side. Torch it and see what's going on and if we like it or not. Interesting. The copper is showing up very orangey right now in the sun. So 
that's kind of throwing me off a little bit. Maybe we can put some navy through that strip of copper. Cool up here with the red. Maybe we should put some more red. And then we haven't even torched it yet. And I wouldn't mind a little bit more of red through here. You always want to start off the edge of your canvas. Torch. Ooh, torchy. Super, super silly, but there are some areas that are getting a lot of cells. This is a lot of cells in here. I kind of like these more solid edges, center areas, though, with the more busy, wilder, especially that, that corner is really, it's beautiful. Okay, I'm not going to mess with this one anymore. I'm going to give it a couple of minutes and look at my edges and take care of my corners and things while it continues to do its thing. We'll take a look at it in another minute or so if it needs anything but I think I'm probably gonna leave it like this it's really, really cool there's some really beautiful parts on here okay so yeah, that's going to be it for this one. The only thing I'm tempted to do is to put a little silver in there, too. Let's see. Silver up to this. That was a bigger line of silver, wasn't it? That's okay. sun sparkling on that but that's awesome all right i will uh dry my hands off and then i'm gonna take the camera and take you guys in for some close-ups and that's it so you know this is fun i love ring pours and straight pours and stuff but i really i also enjoy flip cups too and i do try to do things differently out of my comfort zone every once in a while just to you know I don't want everything to look the same. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this down without turning the camera off. I think I did it. Okay. 
Okay. So, it's pretty cool. Kind of stripey. This is a 24 by 24 canvas, in case I didn't tell you before. So, I'm going to keep my shadow out of it. But there's a lot of cells in there. But to me, this one's not about just cells. I like the, the solid bits of color. I like that they're kind of going vertically, but it's not perfectly uniform. There's still some randomness in there. This part is really cool. It's just beautiful. I like the copper. I like the gold. And all these colors, too. They're going to develop as they dry and change a little bit. This is interesting. We've got the red just to mix with the silver and the white a little bit here and giving us a pinky sort of color. And there's not that much red in this anymore, is there? Hmm. Interesting. It seems very orange, but that orange is actually copper. So, anyways. Well, I'm going to take this inside before it starts to set up in this wind, and then the sun just, of course, came out. <laughs> Hello, wind. Hi, honey. I already poured. It's okay. You can play later. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.